Okay, guys, this problem right here looks more difficult than it really is. Now, before I do this problem, let me ask you this. What if I had one-third divided by two-thirds? Do you remember how to do a problem like that? Okay, good. Now, some of you forgotten that. <laughs> and the reason you've forgotten is you learned it a long time ago, probably in elementary school, maybe middle school. To divide this... You multiply by the reciprocal, right? Why have some of you forgotten it? Yeah, what have you been doing for years now? You, say, yeah, you grab a calculator. And you do this. So, but the problem with that is you forget what the calculator is doing, and in this case you need to flip the second one and then multiply. And of course the threes cancel out and you get a half. Now this is the same kind of thing, guys. It's the same kind of thing. It's two fractions. It looks messy, but it's the same kind of thing. So let's do this one. Uh, I got y to the one half over eight x to the four thirds times watch this six on top x to the one third y to the five halves. Okay, so far so good. Just like the last little problem of numbers. Now look at this. We got a six up here and an eight down here. What does that give you, as far as the coefficients are concerned, as far as the numbers are concerned? 6 over 8. 6 over 8. Can you reduce that? Yes, 3 fourths. 3 fourths, right? 2 goes to this 3, 2 goes to this 4. So I look down through here, and I got two of them with 3 fourths. I can eliminate that one, I can eliminate that one. It's one of these. All right, now stay with me. On the bottom, look at this. I got two x's. You in here? Yeah. X to the four thirds times x to the one third. What do you do with those exponents? On the top, I've got y to the one half right now. I've got a three. On the bottom, I've got four. And what do you do with these exponents? Add them. You've got two, two uh, powers with the same base. So you add them, and what do you get? Four thirds. What? <laughs> four thirds and one half. One third is. Five-thirds. Now, I've still got the y's to deal with, but look. Here's a five-thirds, here's a four-ninths. I found my answer. It's not four-ninths. Here it is. All right. Now, the y, let's go ahead and look at the y's. One-half, five-halves. Which is bigger? The y's. we got to line up on the bottom or the top? Bottom. And you, what do you do with this? Five halves and one half, what do you do? Nine. You subtract. And you get what? Four halves, which is two. And there it is. So that's it. So it's a G. Okay, thanks.